a very good afternoon oh i'm sorry it's actually a very good evening and my name is alok shvastava and i welcome you once again to natak nuts youtube channel first of all is a time to celebrate time to celebrate that network nuts has again won the best red hat certified training partner award for 2011 in northern india once again or to be precise fourth year consecutively so this it couldn't be possible without your support and your love so i'd like to thank you all of you for making this happen and making this possible so before i jump onto the technical aspects of the video i like to share with you or i cannot stop actually sharing with you some of the pics or the moments of uh, that particular meet in cochin with all of you you guys all of the fans so i'm really honored i'm really humbled that i'm carrying this award on behalf of you guys you guys you all fans actually deserves this award you make this happen so let's uh, just scroll through a couple of uh, moments that i had shared some beautiful uh, moments i had shared there so it's the the award ag again once again i'll i'm just going back so the, so it's me Mr. Abhijit Roy and a very beautiful partner, or a miss, a wonderful partner from South India. Uh, this is me, me again with Mr. Shashi Unni. He is actually the guy who take care of the certifications of of Red Hat in the whole India. Very big man, I can tell you this. <laughs> okay, he is the actual guy there. This is me with Mr. Randolph R. Russell or Randy Russell. This is the guy who actually sign on your RSC, RSC or whatever Red Hat certificate. The certification guy is the director of certification worldwide Red Hat. So he cheered for us and we cheered for Red Hat. Who ha? Again with Randy. Nice time with him. He's amazing dancer. I can tell you this. So he's pointing to me and I'm pointing the success to him. Okay, he's another damn good guy. He's Mr. Pete Nath. He's the director of the courseware worldwide Red Hat. He's the guy who design your courseware and everything related to the Red Hat certifications. Big shot among friends. Yeah, beautiful pic. Love this, especially the background. Mr. Sudhir Bhaskaran is the uh, head of the GLS Learning in Red Hat India. Oh, Mr. Andy, he is one of the directors of Red Hat with me and this beautiful lady with the award. I am taking the award from Mr. Shashi Unni. Once again, the same guy. I am honored to be here. I, have, I was there to just accept the award on behalf of you all guys. So I was just merely acting as the courier guy, to be precise. Let me share more. Oh, I don't have any. I think. Okay, one more is there. Oh, it's airborne thing. Mm, the the martial art of of the Kerala. This is Mohini Atam. Uh, some African beats, amazing among friends, flying high in the pool. Oh, this is this. You know, it it cannot be censored. This is me with Mr. Vijay Kakkar actually, and we enjoyed spending some time in the pool, swimming and posing for the cameras. I cannot stop playing if I see the pool. Just my weakness, Mr. Randy Russell. Nice time there with him. Okay, I was actually being uh, honored that I had been given a uh, time to speak about network nuts and the failures, the success, or my story with all the Red Hat learning partners of APAC. So it's a real honor to speak in front of all those guys. One more pick of that. I'm really listening carefully. Oh my God. This is the beautiful Kochi Harbor, clicked by me, the German guy, the Adidas. Yo, I think I'm looking smart. Not my yacht, the moon, the stars, the harbor. This is me again with Mr. Pete. He's one of the directors of Red Hat. I think he's the vice president of of Red Hat, to be precise. Ship again, not mine. The beautiful Taj. Me with Vijay posing for the camera once again. that is it so these are um, the some of the memories uh, i actually was dying to share with you all guys so i'm just closing this now now coming back on to the technical aspects to so what's in this video 
in this video i am going to share you what are the shared mounts what are the slave mounts and what is the find mount it's a new command find mount find mnt which is available in the rel 6.1 onwards only look all of you guys knows the mount command there is no doubt about that there's problem with the machine that's great I had a break in the in the connection so let me try it again oh oh I'll close this and try to hit it again close the terminal this is my desktops R really cluttered I do SSH once again oh network is unreachable let me try I'm getting IP or not no I'm not getting the IP so okay fine let's me op uh, open my virtual machine and share the things with you let to show it that's great this is my trusted vm hope it won't be getting any connection errors and anything like that so guys we are going to learn ab about oh now the connection is established that's great now we are going to learn ab about some finer things of mount command what are shared mount points as i told you shared mount points and what is a slave mount point so i'm going to share you all these things so first thing first we know we you all are comfortable working with the mount command mount if if i simply give the mount it will merely show me the currently mounted devices or actually it takes the etc fs tab and show me the mounted devices and here it also show me the external media if it if it is mounted here in my case the rel 6 dvd is mounted so th so that is fine there is no problem about that now first thing i would like to share with you a new tip is that you can move a mount point like suppose i give the command show mount hyphen e 192.168.0.254 and it shows me couple of uh, sh like shares available on the server so i what do I do a mount 192.168.0.254 I mounted the rel6 ISO onto the MNT folder that's great we know this command now if I give the mount command again it clearly shows me that 192.168.254 rel6 is mounted on the MNT now I, I want to move that mount so, uh, currently it is mounted on the MNT I want that this mount point should be moved to a different folder say I have got a folder here say this is new MNT so I I want that the 254 rel 6 should be redirected to the new MNT and I don't want to unmount and mount back again so there's a very beautiful command there mount hyphen fn move give this command the MNT should be mounted to new MNT wow that makes sense so what happened now if i again give the mount command or the same command again you can see there the difference previously it was on mnt now the mount has been moved to new mode so it's a new trip and like excuse me i've i've got a real bad throat and a damn good cold so you you had to bear with my uh, voice and be sounding like vijay dinana chohan of, of agnipath so you need to bear with me i'm sorry for that it's a real bad throat it's actually Delhi ki sardi we call it okay so the first thing we had learned is that how to move a mount to a different location now what's next uh, let me check if I am able to connect to my uh, other machine that if it is coming up here I wanted to share you okay, okay fine now there is uh, I'm connecting to my server actually ssh hyphen y uh, root at 192.168.0.254 i give the password i'm not going to share the password with, with with you for obvious reasons now look here here i'm running 6.1 why i am here why i had left my trusted vm because i wanted to, to show you a new command find mnt remember friends find mnt is available on 6.1 onwards only so like you give the mount command mount shows you uh, the connections or the, the the current mount points there is a very beautiful command find mnt find mnt is actually shows you shows 
uh, me all the mount file system in a tree like format the best thing is is that it shows you in a tree like format look here if i just scroll up look here it shows me in a tree like form format that what is mounted under what file systems that's great so it's a new command available under after rel 6.1 onwards only you can also give the uh, like command find mnt hyphen t ext4 to just allow the find uh, mnt to uh, show only the ext4 file systems that's great that makes sense it's a very beautiful command and and if like any of you guys are working on 6.1 onwards please feel free to use this command find m find mnt but it's not available on rel 5 and rel 6.0 why i had come this big because my actual my vm is a 6.0 machine so i i cannot use the find mnt here so i i hope you got that point the about the find mnt one more thing very important about the find mnt is that i would like to share with you if i wanted to know whether a particular directory is being acting as a mount point or or not like i go to mnt it's not mounted anywhere but there is a way there i give find mnt and the folder name and then give echo dollar one dollar question mark sorry you know that the dollar question mark stands for the exit value if this value is coming as one which is in my case means this mnt folder is not being is not acting as a mount point for any other location so means you can you are free to use it as a mount point now it's a small tip fine coming back to my trusted virtual machine once again so we had just learned about the move option of the mount now one more thing i'd like to share with you guys is i can have a shared mount point shared mount point means suppose look i'll show, show you i have a folder here media in and in the media i've got my dvd mounted i'll show you my dvd is mounted on the media folder what i want i want that the same dvd should be mounted under mnt also means one mount point or the one source is shared to a two different locations so what and if i do some changes on the master here the master will be the media folder and the copy will be the mnt so what i want that whatever i share i am sharing in in the media should also be accessible under the mnt we call it a shared mount point how to do this right now it's nothing is coming up here under mnt because it's not mounted anywhere so first thing first you need to do is what you need to mark that media as shared so i i need to give the command bind media media that's great and then mark it as share mount hyphen hyphen make shared media by this command i am telling the machine that please make this mount point shared now i need to create a replica of the media under mnt so i can easily give mount hyphen hyphen bind media to mnt job done now whatever is coming up in the media is coming up under mnt that's great that makes sense and if i do some changes in the mnt the changes will be reflected automatically under the media look what i do here now i do a u mount or i i i do one thing i do a mount 192.168.0.254 rel 6 iso is to be mounted under mnt now if i show you ll mnt it shows me a different iso it's actually the iso of 6.0 which is available from my server now and if i give you this command again media even media is, has the new mount point that makes sense so means whatever you do the changes on the or whatever you mount on the master will automatically be reflected on on the slave and whatever you mount on the slave will automatically be re reflected on the master so that is what we call a shared mount point i i hope the point is clear now 
one more thing I can do is that I can have a slave mount point means I want that whatever I do in the media or the master the media is my master should be reflected in the slave the MNT but whatever I do on MNT should not be reflected in the media so in that case the MNT will be acting as the slave now how to configure that the first thing first I need to do I need to you mount the MNT that's great now I am configuring the MNT as a slave so means the content of the media original or the master is the media so the contents of the media will be reflected in the slave means MNT but the contents of the MNT will not be reflected in the media so in that case MNT will be acting as the slave so first thing first again I need to do a mount hyphen hyphen bind media media though I had already done this I need not to do this now again I need to mark it as shared which is again I had done this but I am just showing you for the sake of the lab that's great now again I need to bind it mount hyphen hyphen bind media MNT but that's what I had already done that's great now a new step will be there to configure the MNT as a slave I need to give mount hyphen hyphen make slave MNT that makes sense now what will happen as the media is containing the DVD it is showing me up and because the MNT is the slave so the same contents will be available under MNT that is good but if I mount it again to a different location I will repeat the same command this is now I am mounting a different lo location into the MNT that's great now if I give LL MNT it is showing me a different contents but the contents of the media will remain the same that's the beauty of the slave mount point so these are couple of things that might be of help or we need to use the, the, these kinds of setup as like especially when uh, the user the like administrator wants to access a particular look uh, means mount point or a shared location from two different mount points like in case of the ch rooted environment so these things might be of help uh, so that's all like the thing I wanted to share with you I, I hope you like the things like the video and like the uh, tips and tricks on, on the mount the move the shared mount point and the slave mount point so thank you very much God bless see you soon bye and once again don't leave we need to share that picture again where, where it is oh sorry I I cannot I wanted to you to see it what I've be and here is it so this is for you guys you guys make this happen and thank you for all of your love your your belief in me and in network nuts only that makes it happen thank you keep loving me like this only bye god bless take care